The photographer puts a camera around her neck in the morning along with the shoes. And there it is. It is an appendage. And it shares its life. This is a peculiar and a powerful instrument for this purpose of saying to you, this is the way it is. Look at it. Look at it. The good photograph is not the object. The consequences are the photograph of the object. So that no one would say, how did you do it? Where did you find it? But they would say that such things could be. Dorothy, I really believe that if you photograph someone aggressively or, or candidly, that you stole their spirit and that they should be part and parcel of the photographic process. The lowest, most humble, simple person in a broken down Ford had to cooperate with Dorothea to make the photograph. We are here to make things better. We would like to photograph. We. She didn't say, I'm going to come and photograph you, Buster. The government's paying me. He said, we work for the government and would like to use a picture of you somehow, some way, uh, if, if you think that's, that's the thing to do, was the uh, implication. And it worked. You can see the people are waiting, the kids. This little kid is curious. This little kid has been asked to pose, not so she can get a posed photograph, but so she can go on and photograph them in their activities later. And the posed photograph will quite easily be used in the series of photographs that she's planning to take. That's, as far as I know, that's the glory of her work. No one was ever given exact directions, go here and do so and so. You were turned loose in a region and the assignment was more like this. See what you can bring home. See what is really there. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What actually is the human condition? One should use the camera as though tomorrow you'd be stricken blind. To live a visual life is an enormous undertaking, practically unattainable. But when the great photographs are produced, it will be down that road. I have only touched it, just touched it.